Fucking nerds. How's it going, YouTube? It is Ventral Shadows here, and we're going to do a very quick video today about the OCG ban list that just came out. It's probably about two, three days ago, and we're going to be doing a few discussions about some of the cards that have been hit, as well as kind of like the similarities and differences of the TCG list, as well as Master Duel, okay? So we're going to get right into that today. And the first card on that list is none other than Imperial Order, okay? And Imperial Order is a card that the TCG players are super happy about being out of the format now for our format, but at the same time, uh, Master Duel is still a little plagued with that, okay? So Imperial Order out of the OCG format as well, so we might be seeing that kind of transition into MD soon. And... Once again, like I said, spell support, things like Sky Strikers, very happy to see one card Floodgates not shut down their deck, especially when they have to deal with monster Floodgates, you know, or like negation as well on top of a Floodgate. So other card to get banned here, as you can see, is Vert Anaconda. Okay, now... Um, this is still walking around in the TCG as well as Master Duel. I think we're going to have it around just a little bit longer, but uh, it's been in the OCG for a very long time. And since its release, it's been very, very popular. It has only gained in popularity with Red Eyes Darkness Dragoon, with the Phoenix uh, Enforcer coming out. And then with the branded package actually being released soon, we're going to be seeing that fusions are going to make a very big comeback. I mean, they've already been big in decks and being tacked, but I think we're going to be seeing main fusion decks themselves. Themselves, okay with the branded package being able to go almost into any fusion okay that whole thing is nuts so anaconda going away in the ocg and i mean two monsters to make it is insane you can even use itself to make another anaconda if the first one were to get negated all right and a bunch again like you kind of go into combos and They'll negate it with hand traps. You'll get two monsters on the board that both will be negated. Hey, make Anaconda. There's your third play. That's your out. That's the end of the turn. And at the time with the Dagda combo, with the Scythe, that's all you need. Okay, shut down the opponent. So we're going to see Imperial Order and Anaconda going to zero for the OCG now. All right. Up next is cards that are going to one in that OCG list. And keeping it simple, it is Destiny Fusion, which is no surprise to us in the TCG. That just went to two for us. So in OCG, that's going to one. So they're going to have zero Anacondas and one of the Fusion Destiny. So we're going to be kind of seeing a drop in the tech use, if not cut of all tech, of the Destiny Fusion Enforcer. Okay. Or the Phoenix Enforcer. But... We're going to still see it probably used heavily in the hero decks, all right? So you're just not going to see it used and tacked in every single deck, and you're going to have to feel like you have to go out and get one, okay? And keep in mind, like I said, this is OCG, TCG. We still got two. We still got Anaconda, all right? Um, the other two we're going to be seeing go to one here. First one is the Water Enchantress of the Temple, okay? And this is for the Adventure Package, okay? The Adventure Token Package that just got released to the TCG. Again, OCG is a little ahead of the curb. They've had these for a while now, okay? And what these do is essentially summon tokens and a bunch of uh, support for the tokens. So we got Enchantress uh, going to one, and then Rite of Aramisir going to one. And with the Rite, if you control none of the, none of the Adventure Tokens, you special summon one of the Adventure Tokens. And then if you don't control the Fateful Adventure, Adventure card, you can place it directly from the deck. So it immediately gets the combo started, which is insane. And the, the Enchantress herself, she can banish from this hand to add the right of Aramisir from the deck. So it was a super consistent combo, super consistent package that any deck could pretty much tech into it and then go into a bunch of negates. And then they will eventually link into the Anaconda, go into the you know, the Destiny Fusion package. I mean, you're kind of seeing the deck itself getting hit here, like one whole tech like bunch of techs kind of in one deck that a bunch of people would be playing, okay? So again, we're going to see the Brave package kind of get hit a little bit. Destiny Fusion going to one as well in the OCG. After that, our cards that are going to go to two, and we actually have two pages here, and we're going to go over them and kind of see what's on it, all right? <clears throat> So we're going to rejoice for the first one, many will. I'm going to cry slightly. And that is Eldritch. His deck is slightly getting hit. And that is Eldelixir of the Sanguine. It summons directly from the deck or the graveyard, okay? And then, obviously, you can banish it, uh, set the Golden Lord cards, okay? Or the Golden Land cards. But this card is essentially good for setting up the combo. You set it, you activate it, you get the Golden Lord from the deck or the graveyard, as I said. So even later duel, it's still very alive, unlike the Black Awakening, okay? 
and that one you have to set up very early because it can't revive from the graveyard. Sanguine can get from the grave. You're locked into zombies for the remainder of the duel. But fun fact about Sanguine itself, it can summon any zombie as well. Okay, but if you can only do not control any Eldlix or monsters, you're locked into Eldlix or summons. That's why this is really good in the Doom King version of the deck. All right, up next on the put twos is the branded opening <clears throat> and this card very strong and once again tcg we're a little behind we haven't really got the full brand package here we're about to get that structure deck which everyone's gonna be extremely excited about but so branded opening we're gonna be seeing all this kind of stick around a little longer here this card itself discard one card take one despy monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or special it in defense position but for the rest of the turn you're locked into fusions from the extra deck which you know, not insane. And then if um, Fusion Monster would be destroyed by a card effect, you can banish this card from the graveyard instead. So it's protection, as well as you get to summon a monster from the deck. So normally they go into the Jester, which gets to add, or Jester adds this one or the other. is kind of inner, you know, interchangeable with those. So branded opening, we're going to be seeing kind of go down slightly from three to two. Up next is Pot of Prosperity. I'm going to be honest. I'm a little sad about that one. I love Prosperity. I love the consistency it adds to decks. It's a nice, uh, you know, kind of change between Duality and the Extravagance card, uh, which banishes randomly from the extra deck, which really hinders your extra deck. If you're not playing anything like Monarchs or anything, like Extravagance is nice, but being able to choose what you hit and still have access to part of the extra deck is insane. It adds a bunch of consistencies to the deck since you can go six cards deep. And then since you only add one card to the hand, you don't necessarily feel like you have to banish six. So you can always go three and leave a little bit of room for the other prosperities as well as cards to use yourself. Okay, so we're going to see prosperity going from three to two, which would be interesting seeing moving forward. I think we're going to be getting another pot card here soon since the rotation of sets are kind of going to go to the new wave. So when the next reprints come out, they'll hit prosperity, but not the new pot card. Okay, <clears throat> up on the list is the Tri Brigade Fractal. Okay, and as everyone knows, Tri Brigade has been teched in a lot of decks, has been in the meta for quite some time. It's no surprise that we're going to be see a hit to this, and so the consistency of the deck will go down, but not the usefulness of it, okay? So, we're, like I said, we're just going to see those first turn openings not happen as explosive, and they might not have as powerful of a follow-up play, but they're still going to be consistent. They're still going to be good and useful. Okay. Other cards going to two. We have the Night Assailant. Since the Arata is coming out, that you cannot target Night Assailant with its own effect once discarded from the hand. So I don't think it's going to be super crazy in the meta, but we might see it tech to search for some one of flip effect monsters like Morphing Jar or something. Okay. We also have Harmonizing Magician going uh, up from whatever it was to two. And this is a lot of a uh, pretty good card for the Magician deck since you can pull one from the deck itself. Adds a bunch of consistency as well as kind of like swarm ability to the build so it'll be nice seeing some pendulum support coming back we got the zen mighty carrier okay so it's going to two over no cg it'd be nice to see what it could do in tcg but we haven't seen windups doing a bunch since the hand loop is not fully there anymore uh we got the orcus harpoor again in tcg we'd freak out if that was even around but we're gonna see it go to two banish this card from the graveyard especially some um, an, an orcus from the deck so you get to a very wide selection okay and that's one of the combo startups for that orcus build we also have Divine Win of the Mist Valley, a huge win combo starter. Uh, once per turn, if a win monster you control returns to the hand, except during the damage step, you can special summon one level four or lower win monster from your deck. And that was really good with Birdman. You bounce back a win, summon a wide variety of wins from the deck, such as like Harpy Chandler and such, and get a bunch of combos going. All right, Raigeki. We're going to see Raigeki going to two. It just went to three in the TCG, so we're going to see if that goes bumps from two to three as well in OCG. Uh, beginning of the end, going to two as well, as well as Trishula. And now, cards that are going to three over in the OCG. All right, Metaverse. No surprise, we have the Mystic Mind Band in the OCG. Oh, I'm so happy that we still have it in TCG. That aside... Metaverse going to three. Hero Lives going to three is super exciting. All right. 
uh, with the uh, fusion getting hit. They definitely got hit inadvertently by that. So now they're going to add hero lives. So their consistency with their mass change decks will definitely go up. We're going to see the combos with Stratos being able to add stuff. It's going to be nice seeing hero lives at three over an OCG. Uh, we're going to have the memories of hope spell card with Numerons as crazy as they were. Uh, this definitely went down a little bit. So it wasn't going to add to the consistency of the draw after they flood the board with an OTK amount of monsters and then you just draw four. I mean, it's kind of overkill, but it's back. It's better than ever, okay? And then we have the Ultra Geist Multi Faker, okay? And that is going back to three as well, which will probably help the uh, Ultra Geist deck out a little bit, but we still have it at three in TCG. The deck can definitely be annoying, especially with Mystic Mine, but I don't think uh, little slower decks like that need to be hindered as much. So guys, hopefully everyone enjoyed that OCG list. Maybe there's some things on there you love. Maybe there's some things on there you really, really want to be implemented in the TCG. I mean, some of it already has been. So whatever it is, definitely drop the comments below. If you're liking any of the content at all, definitely drop that subscribe. We're working really hard to get that number up. And we would like to credit the organization, okay? And that is Yu-Gi-Oh! organization they do a bunch of work for articles and that's why we can kind of get a sneak preview of what's going on over in ocg and can get lists like this out to you okay so if you can go give them some love as well we got to give them a little bit of, a lot of love because like i said it can help us bring videos like this to you so everyone thank you so much for hanging out have yourselves a wonderful night and as always stay safe all right suck it nerds